All right, guys. Thanks for jumping on the board. Yesterday, we were in a time of prayer and counsel. If you need prayer today, pop in comments. If you need counsel for anything, just drop it in comments. You know, this is, uh, we're here to serve. But today, I want to jump into the word. I'm going to jump into, and I'm going to drop it in the chat. Today, we are talking about the supernatural realm. We're talking about the demonic realm. And this is something that we need to talk about. This is something that needs to be shared because too many people are uh, ignorant. They're ignorant. The enemy that comes to kill, steal, and destroy is having his way because they're ignorant. If you need freedom, and listen, deliverance, the Bible says this is the children's bread. These are for the children of God. That doesn't mean, that, let me go ahead and clear some confusion up. Many people think, well, I mean, I'm born again. I'm saved. I'm going to heaven. There's no way I can have a demon oppressing me or possessing me, afflicting me. Listen to me. I don't believe in full possession if you're born again, okay, because, you know, there's a difference, but there is oppression. And I'm gonna, without doing a long teaching today, just understand this, the enemy comes to kill, the enemy comes to steal, the enemy comes to destroy, he uses demons to do that, okay? So, again, we can do a lot more teaching, and there's a place for that. But today, I really just want to jump into, if you or struggling. If you've been like, this is a tough time in my life. This is going on. Many times there's sicknesses. Now there's natural sickness. Uh, as the body grows older, there are sickness from viruses and stuff. And then there's demonic, demonic. And so we have to understand that. Uh, if this is, if you're like, Wayne, I just don't believe that. I'm a Christian. I don't believe it. That's okay. You know, I can give you some, we're going to go through verses today. So this is going to be a teaching. It's going to be a deliverance session. It's going to be what you need it to be. I've cast out devils and I've seen them. I've seen the evil. I've seen the evil. I've heard the evil. But I'm going to know this. Jesus Christ is above all. Amen. Jesus Christ is above all. So we're going to jump into that. Luke 10, 17. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. The demons recognize, the demons recognize the name Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you, there's something about it's the name Jesus. I had, a, I had somebody the other day say, Wayne, I feel like these spirits are coming back in my house. There's a, there's a oppression in the house. I'm like, hey, listen, number one, well, let's go. Let's go. Just cast out the devil. But you want to get put on some worship music. Let the let the music, you know, we get these little Google minis or little Amazon Echoes, whatever. Hey, play worship music. Play Jesus music. Amen. Let the word Jesus permeate through the house. When you're going to bed at night, you're still turning on low. It's okay. I promise. It's not the volume of it. It's the authority in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so freedom from demonic many times is recognizing that the, first and foremost, it's the name of Jesus. Are you with me? We have to get back to the name of Jesus. Okay. Um, and so, Luke, let's read some more. Okay. I'm just going to read some of these and post that. I posted them all. If you're on now. Hit that share button. Hit that share button and type in comments if you need prayer. Type in comments if you need prayer. Luke 8, 30. And we'll go through 30, 33. Jesus asked him, what is your name? And he said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the pigs, and the herd rushed down the step, uh, the steep bank into the lake and drowned. See, this was not one demon, but a legion of demons. And a Roman legion during Jesus' day could have been anywhere from three to 6,000 troops. This, you know, this could have been many, many, many demons in this person. And demons, and here's the key, demons do work through uh, open doors, but then demons look, they look for opportunities to bring other demons in. If you get a demon, um, I, was just, I was literally ministering to someone um, recently this week and i said there's there was this demon came in through long this the feeling of loneliness a spirit of loneliness a spirit of despair opened up and then demons of lust demons of masturbation demons of pornography these demons came in here's the key you have to this is what the lord was showing me it where's the entry point Where's the strong man? So we're going to come into, if you need prayer today, we're just going to rebuke Satan. We're going to rebuke Satan today, and we're just going to come in and believe um, for healing. And um, Stephen, I see you. We're going to pray. We're going to pray right now um, in just a moment. Amen. So stick with me. Guys, hit the share button. Hit the share button. Someone needs to know about this. If you have something 
hey, Wayne, I'm not sure if this is demonic or not. Hey, Wayne, maybe I've walked into areas I shouldn't have walked into. We pray right now for deliverance. Amen. I believe in finding a local a local uh, church that practices deliverance and get in and let them take you through. But sadly, there's a lot that don't. We have to preach the word, the word of the word of truth. Amen. So. And uh, Mark 11, I love this. I'm oh, no, sorry, Mark 1 39. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. Jesus didn't waste much time. In the very beginning of his ministry, he cast demons out. And we see this in at least 20 different circumstances in the New Testament. We see this as being part of the same ministry, preaching in the synagogue, cast out demons. Go into a church, preach, minister, cast out demons. Are you with me? Mark 3, I love this one. Mark 3, 13 to 15. He went up to the mountain, called to him those he had desired, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom named apostles. They might be with him, and he might send them out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. Are you with me? Okay, this is the key. You know when you have the authority. Where does that authority come from? It comes from the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to understand this. A uh, number of years ago, and his name's escaping me. Um, it'll come to me. But um, I interviewed a gentleman, and he went. In, he was a Baptist preacher, went into the prisons, and he's praying for this guy. And the first time he prays for this guy, it's got, I believe it was colon cancer. Um, and he prays, and he just... You know, again, he said, I don't even really believe in the gifts of the Spirit. I don't believe in speaking in tongues. I don't believe in all. But he knew there was a Spirit there, and he cast it out in the name of Jesus. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to, again, misrepresent the story. But the guy threw up, and it's like this this, um, this, this, this demon come out, or this manifestation came out. And the guy was healed. That's the power. See, we understand Demons are real, but we understand Jesus Christ is more real. And they, listen, a lot of people, a lot of ministers want to get on here and preach on this. They won't preach it in the pulpit, and they won't preach it here on Facebook. They're scared. I'm telling you, I have more fear of my God than I do of a demon. Are you with me? Can I get an amen on that? I see some of your own. Just have amen. If you have, just say, I fear God more than I fear a demon. Type amen. Type amen. And if somebody say, hey, I might need some freedom, Wayne. I might need some prayer. That's what we're going to do. We've got a few minutes here this morning. We're going to pray and we're going to get some breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Stephen, I'm going to get back with you, brother. We're going to pray over you. I just want to I want to just release some of these words because I believe these words are going to give you some faith and some comfort. Um, Luke 4, 41. Oh, I love this one. And demons came out of many, crying, You are the Son of God. Well, listen to this. In the presence of the Lord, the demons cried out, You are the Son of God. But he recognized they were not worshiping him. He recognized them. But he rebuked them, and he would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was Christ. He did not allow them to rebuke them. There's so much that we have, the ability. The Word tells us, Pray ye one for another. That you may, prayers may be answered. But the Bible also tells us to cast out devils. And some of you are watching this and like, well, I, how do I know? Maybe I need a devil cast out of me. Uh, some of you may be going, well, I don't know. Um, how, do I, how do I pray for other people? And it's just, here's the key. You don't have to be afraid to talk directly to demons. You're not having a conversation with them. You're following Jesus' way and commanding them to leave. In Jesus' name, power and authority. Okay? So, can I, can I just pray? I think like there's somebody here that you're embarrassed um, to even put your name out. And that's okay. You know, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. But let me just pray this in the beginning because I want to break off this spirit of uh, fear. Satan, you listen to me. In the name of Jesus, I command you to take your evil spirits of depression, anxiety, worry, fear, and in Jesus' name, get out and do not come back. By Jesus' authority and power given to me, I cancel your assignment over the one watching this. Go now in Jesus' name. They belong to Jesus and are covered under his blood as a hedge of protection. 
You know what? Sometimes it's that simple. And the demons flee. Now, there's times when demons have a stronghold. There's times when demons have, there's a strong man. I mean, there's a, a more powerful demon or even a demon over them demons. Without going to a deep teaching, what it means is maybe there's a stronghold. Maybe somebody's been addicted to pornography or they're still addicted. Maybe somebody's uh, addicted to you know, another sin or whatever that sin is, and it's opened up doors. And that demon has come in. What you have to do is recognize that and we renounce. We repent, we renounce, and we rebuke. Come on, we cast out, we cast them out. And again, not with a full teaching on it today, but I just wanted to do this teaching today because I know there's somebody that needs ministry. There's somebody that needs a breakthrough. There's somebody that needs, you know, something and that you've prayed and prayed and prayed. Okay? You've prayed, and now it's time. It's time for it's time for that breakthrough to come. Sometimes that means casting out a devil. Uh, Acts ten thirty eight. Stephen said, "You know, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and He went around doing good and healing. Listen to this: healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. Are you with me? Many times your healing is going to come." When the demonic is broken off. And this is why I love the, the disciples. Oh, this is so powerful. The disciples, he said, go, wait, wait for, wait for the promise of the Father. What was the promise? The promise was the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They spoke in unknown tongues. There was tongues of fire upon them. They were baptized with the power to go forth, look at the demons and say, come out in Jesus' name. But even but here's the key. Even before that, they said, oh, even demons are subject to us. But now there's a new level of authority. If you've been baptized with the Holy Spirit, there's a level of authority. You have the right you have the responsibility. You have the right and responsibility to cast out devils. So, amen. Stephen, let's pray for you, brother, um, from brokenness. Amen. So, Father God, I just bless Stephen. I bless Stephen right now. And I'm going to come right now, Lord, thanking you for Stephen, thanking you for all that you've done in his life and glory upon him. But I also am come now in the name of Jesus and the authority. And I'm going to speak over any unclean spirits, any unholy angels, any entities, any assignment. Oh, I'm just going to speak that right now. Any assignment from the demonic realm against Stephen, against his health, against his purpose. How any assignment, because we know there's an assignment against your assignment in many cases. Any assignment against him that is unholy, we break it by the blood of Jesus Christ. I come right now in the name of Jesus under that authority, and I say that assignment is broken right now in Jesus' name. And we just speak for victory and healing. Any demonic entity, any unholy demonic, uh, wow, assignment, I, I just keep seeing them. It's like a loop of, you know, like trying to keep you in a downward spiral, kind of keep you there. I break that right now. We call upon the name Jesus and we say, go. We say anything that is unclean, go in Jesus' name. And we expect miracles and we expect breakthrough. Here's what I want you to do, guys. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to literally write out any kind of condition that may, I mean, this is going to take some work, okay? I can get on here and just be a you know five-minute preacher on the internet, or I can get on here and help you and change your life, okay? Are you ready for a change? I want you to write out. I want you to write out, hey, Lorraine, God bless you. I want you to write out the areas it, that maybe you're you know, um, like the fruit. You know, do you have anger issues? Do you have anxious, you know, anxious thoughts, depression, suicidal thoughts, anything that, that is not godly? You should write them out, own them for a moment. Then you're going to rebuke them. Are you with me? Own them for a moment. I recognize it. And say, this isn't godly, and I'm going to rebuke this in Jesus' name. Come on. Then I want you to write out any spiritual, any, any physical conditions. And I'm not saying every sickness, sickness is of the devil, but we see that he healed and they were delivered. They were he cast out demons and they were healed. So let's just not assume it's not. Okay. The enemy wants to kill. Kill. He wants to kill. He wants to see you on your deathbed. He wants to see you gasping for your last breath. He wants to steal. He wants to take away your family. He wants to take away your friends. He wants to destroy. He wants to hurt. When we say kill, steal, and destroy, I think sometimes we don't understand the darkness in that, the corruption in that. But my God, my Lord Jesus came and he said, I will set you free. So I want you to write out any thought, any physical sickness you have, 
And don't you write in any fruits that are not of God, you know, like taking anger, anxiousness, lust, perversions, you know, um, depression, suicidal thoughts. Don't you write them out. Don't you write them out. This is going to be homework. You write them out. And then you say, you know what? In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against any unclean spirit in my body. Lord, I repent of my sins. Cover me with your precious blood. Cover me with your precious blood. And I renounce any any wrongdoing. I renounce any sin. I renounce anything that I have walked into knowingly or unknowingly, willingly or unwillingly. Lord, I renounce my involvement with anything that would bring forth any demonic attack. I renounce it right now. I repent, my Lord. I'm covered by the blood of the Lamb. I renounce. I break off any covenant, any, any agreements right now. Known or unknown in my life or generations before me, I renounce it in Jesus' name, and I say, "Go." I speak to, I speak over any spirit that is within me. I speak, and not even as you're watching this, any spirit that's within you that is not of God, any spirit of oppression, any spirit of thought that is not of God, I bind it in the name above all names, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus the Messiah, and I say, "Go" in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And when it's gone, oh, we'll talk about this in another lesson. But when it's gone, may the Holy Ghost come in for you. Holy Spirit, fill that vessel. Holy Spirit, fill that mind. Holy Spirit, bring forth new fruit. Fruit, hallelujah, of health. Fruit, hallelujah, of character and attitude and love and integrity. In Jesus' name. Has this been good? Somebody hit the share button. Somebody hit us a thumbs up, a heart, something. Let us know. Has this been helpful to you? Has this been helpful at all? Amen. Does anybody feel like, hey, I maybe I need to go through a deliverance? I also want to say this, guys. Remember this. Deliverance is, is not meant to be scary. It's just taking something that's unclean and removing it. It's taking something that's unclean and removing it. Getting it out. We spring clean our homes, right? We clean our homes. I literally heard, like, my wife, I literally heard in a room about below me, I heard a vacuum cleaner a few minutes ago. She's cleaning the house. It's just what we do. It's time to clean the spiritual house. Amen? Come on. Now, who in here, all right, we talked about we talked about freedom from the mnemonic, but I also want to take just a minute here, and I just want to do some, uh, I just want to do some uh, prayer. Just who needs prayer today? Who needs prayer? Who needs any kind of prayer today? Even outside. Hey, Wayne, I don't think I have an demon, but uh, I just want to be prayed for. If that's you, um, I want you to post it in comments. I'm going to be here for another two or three minutes. Amen. So if this is you, just post in comments if you need prayer. We're going to pray for you. We're going to see breakthrough. Stephen, I'm still praying. Here's the key, Stephen. We're going to pray for your lungs. Amen. We're going to pray for that. I want you to do continue praying for that. But what I want you to do is I want you to begin to just, hallelujah, I want you to rebuke any spirit, any, do anything, anything that is spiritual. Um, just say, Lord, I, I rebuke it, and I just walk in your glory. I walk in your glory. Also, guys, I mentioned this uh, a day or two ago. Did an, had just an amazing life coaching session yesterday, and uh, and so if you're if you're like if you ever just say Wayne I feel stuck Wayne I need somebody to to just minister over me Wayne I need somebody to counsel me, you know that's my that's I am fully trained certified my master's in Christian counseling therapy temperament therapy, but also um, I know that God's just given me that spirit of counsel spirit of comfort and I'm going to help you. So if you need calf coaching, go to the secondatom.com on the main page and you'll discover more there. So has this been a blessing to you? Has this been a blessing? Hope so. Okay. So again, I honor all of you. I bless you. I just speak a I just speak a blessing. Father God bless everyone watching this. Everyone, guys, if you're watching live, that's fine. If you're watching a replay, you still post below my prayer. I bless everyone watching this live. Everyone watching this is a replay. Father God, I'm asking you just to pour out your spirit upon them today. Let them feel you. Let them feel your, your that, how close you are. May that Shekinah glory, that manifest glory come upon them right now. May they drink hallelujah. May they just commune with you today. Eat of oh, hallelujah. Guys, in fact, um, I'm going to do communion. Uh, 
let's do communion together. Amen. I think if you're going to cast out a demon, come on, let's do communion together. So um, if you have, if you need to go, um, if you need to go grab some something to do communion with, then go do that and um, hit the pause button. This is a replay. But I want to take communion with you. I believe in communion with the body. Amen. So Father God, I thank you for the bread. This is the body that was broken. And part of that brokenness was on the whipping post. Strap by strap, wound for wound, I am healed. I feel the glory. I am healed head to toe. When I take of this, this is the body. Many people think what this represents. I believe in, I believe it does represent. Dude, it's in remembrance. It's remembrance. It's representation. I also believe in the supernatural. I believe this Halloween is the body of Christ. You don't have to believe that way. Amen. When it, I believe when I take it in faith, it becomes. And it did, did truly, even as, even as they, um, Wow, even as they left Egypt, none were sick. None were sick because they took of the lamb. Amen. So God bless this body that was broken for me. Amen. And I just believe in that supernatural is taking place. Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood that was shed. And any demonic oppression... Any unholy uh, assignment is about to be broken because the blood of Jesus is going to go through every cell of my body. The blood of Jesus is going to touch in the spiritual and hallelujah the physical. So if you're taking communion with me, God bless the blood that was shed. Amen. Amen. Come on, guys. I honor you. Be here tomorrow. My goal. As long as my schedule allows is to be here every day, I'm probably going to set up a certain time so that we know this is a good time for everybody. Then we're going to pray. We're going to teach. We're going to cast out demons. We're going to, we're going to see miracles. Are you with me? And again, uh, if you want to, uh, if you need help personal, go to the secondadam.com and sign up for our life coaching. I honor all of you. God bless.